Vivi. What is happening? What is going on? Is your love for me dying? Is it because of the stress I am bringing upon us? Talk to me. Not to worry. I know that everything will be fine. Yes. Very, very soon we'll be out of this. I'm sorry. V, it is not tiredness I see in your eyes, V. I see, I see, I see something else. What? Guilt? Guilt? Why would you feel guilty? You haven't brought any calamity upon us. Yes. Um, I, I, I feel you're, you're blaming me. Yes. I, I should have, you know, spoken to you not to use your cane on, on, on those students, you know. Be. It's not only a man that protects his woman. A woman protects a man. Mm -hmm. I should have done that. I know you're blaming me, right? B. You're just worried, sick about me. And I appreciate that. I will never let you down. And I Anyhow, it ends, even if it takes my life. I'll be happy that I lived this life tasting a love like this, a perfect love, a love without flaw. So it's okay. Come on. They sent you to pluck out my eyes? Is that why you're standing in front of me? I... I... You what? I've come to save your eyes. I hope I don't get into trouble. The last time I tried to save you, I got into trouble. You have me confused. I don't understand. Abraham and his friends, they were planning to drag you into the bush and beat you up for flogging him. I overheard them. That was why I went to confront them. But then you, you saw us and started flogging me. I was fighting for you. I was fighting for you because I was fighting for you because Because of what? 
Speak up. What part of this contraption of lies do you want me to believe in? Who sent you? Was it your mother? I wonder why. Or was it Abraham, the boys? Or is it Igwe's people who are somewhere hiding out, waiting to pass on me? Wait, they sent you here to delay me so they can gain more grounds and get closer to attack me? Answer me. I will marry you. I will marry you. Several times I have. I have always wanted to tell you that I love you. I have always had a crush on you. But you were busy walking around town with Vera. And I know you will never see me. They say, if I marry you, I'll be saving your life. And I want to save your life. Even though you've taken half of mine by leaving me with one eye. But that's what people do when they're in love. They make sacrifices. They take the blame. They say nothing. They endure. What she told me. Why should I? I owe her nothing. You owe her nothing, but she's my woman. Okay? I don't want to lose her. I don't want to lose my eye, also. And I need to respect her proposition. So you tell her what you told me. Baby, she has agreed to the marriage proposal. But it's fake. For now. Just so she can save me. If you refuse to go with my son, your boyfriend will face the consequences as required by tradition. But if you do, I will make Nene to marry him. And his only punishment will be he has to live with a woman he has no affection with. Come on, baby. It's only a ploy. It's not real. And it's with him. This is what you've always wanted, man. Why is she doing this? Why did she change her mind all of a sudden? Why? Why does she want to save you? Tell me. What's her reason? Just like you, I love him, but you have the upper hand, so there is nothing I can do. <laughs> I see. Uh. Tell me, the Igwe made you do this, right? He spoke to you. He pushed you to do this. I haven't spoken or seen the Igwe. He hasn't sent word to us ever since the last time I went to the palace. Yes, I'm sure the Igwe is busy planning on how to punish Tisho Zemena for what he did. Uh, what is it? Oh, 
Vera. Why are you crying? What this is this? Vera. Vera. Excuse me, Iwe. This is not happening. Not anymore. If you change your mind, you know what will happen to your man. <laughs> News flash. Now, listen to me. Nene was here earlier today. Yes, I heard that with my two ears. She said she has agreed to marry Ozo. And do you know the funniest part of it? Nobody forced her. I knew you did not do anything. Yes, she would have married Ozo whether I did this or not. Ah, I was too fast. I'm just a fool. I was just wasting my body with your son right here. If this is a lie. Hmm. Igwe, you are the Igwe, so find out. Anyway, um, my son is here. One more time would not be too much to ask. I have every intention to help you. Oh, really? So you call this help? You call this help as a father? You open your mouth and say that you wanted to help me? Oh, it's all my fault. All my fault because I didn't want to marry a one-eyed man. Yes, I wanted to present a man that is so handsome to my friends and my family. And this got me into this mess. It got me into this mess. I'm so shameless. Also doesn't even know this about me. Yes, I'm so regretting everything I just did. I should have, you know, stood with my man. It shows that I never really loved him. I should have stood with him whether he had one eye or not. But no, I was just so fast. Because I didn't want to marry a one-eyed man. Igwe, if you don't leave here with your son, I will scream. Yes. And what do I have to lose? Nothing. Nothing. If nobody knows about this, I will live with the guilt for the rest of my life. I'm so shameless. I regret this. See, if you come close to me, I will use this. She can me, but even try it. Practically, a life of a prince in his kingdom is treasonable. I could have you punished. Let's go. Let us go. You see, due to the unfavorable circumstances surrounding this entire matter of 
marriage or no marriage to the school teacher. I would advise that you reconsider your agreement to marry him and allow justice to take his course. Let him lose one of his eyes and get equal recompense and measures for what he has done. Igwe, I cannot possibly let him endure such punishment. Even though he has made me to endure pain in my body and in my heart. For I truly love him. Love. <laughs> love is for silly guys. In this case, I judge you more silly. Because you love who does not love you. Now, go and tell him you have changed your mind that you will not marry him. Go, go now. No, Iwe, I cannot. Are you arguing with me? Igwe, for this love, my eye was blinded. But then is my gain. If I go blind and he goes blind, where is my joy? Where is my victory? Get out. Igwe. Get out. No bride price was paid or demanded. No traditional marriage rites was performed. You just came to me free. This kind of marriage is, does not require such procedures because there is no time for those. But we expected to do them within 12 months. What about you? Nothing. We live together. You get to keep your eyes because I've saved them. But you have to tell with me. And what next? I'll start school in a different school next academic section. You can't be my teacher and my husband at the same time, can you? Can you see? Put your things down. For a long time, 
I always loved you Fantasized and idolized you Tell me what to do To get you to look at me Love oh love If I slap you, if I slap you now, who's your wife? Who's your wife? Try and call me that thing again now. You see what I'll do to you? Can you imagine? Eh? Call me his wife. Am I his wife? Do I look like your wife? Eh? Stupid thing. Fool. So what you refuse to give to me, you are giving it to Iweka, the Igwe son in secret. What nonsense are you speaking? So tell me, of all the girls, the ladies, and even the women in this community, it is you, Iweka, just to call my wife, my wife. You know how many years in this village, and people in the palace are saying Digwe's son is happy these days. He's talking and even describing his wife, my wife, my wife, my wife, my wife, my wife. Yeah, wife. You a fool, a big fool at that. No, leave this place. I said leave. Leave. What are you doing here? What is he doing here? Um, also, please leave. I'm not. I'm not in the mood to receive visitors. Vera, I need us to talk. Please. There is nothing for us to talk about. Yes, just go away. Leave me. Vera, you can't keep shutting me out. You can't. Everything that has happened, none of it was my fault. Please. Mother, please leave. Please, just go. Leave me alone. Go to your house. Leave me. Apumaka, leave me. Okay, okay, okay. Calm down. Don't get worked up. I will leave. I just came to tell you that everything that has happened was out of my control. I couldn't help any of it. And I'm sorry. Just stay away from me. Stay away from me. What is it? What is wrong? Everything is wrong. <sighs> what happened today? Vera does not want to see me. She does not want to see me again. Obviously, she has found out that you are, you are with me. That you moved in with me. All because of what you did. Walk, walk away. 
Everybody walks away from me once I am sad. Everybody. That doesn't make you any different. I am not walking away from you. I am walking into your house. Why does Vera want to leave? Pain is supposed to bring two lovers together. Not tear them apart. If the love is real. If the love is real. If the love is real. For a long time, I always loved you. Fantasized and idolized you. Tell me what to do to get you to look at me. Love, oh love, eh, bugamo, oh bugamo. Oh, I do anything for love. Oh, I do anything for love. Why? Wait, baby, baby, please. Just oh, leave. Wait. Baby, shh, shh, shh. Just listen to me. She's in there. I don't ever, ever want to set my eyes on you. Baby. Never again. Baby, come on. You know that's not possible. You of all people know this. After she agreed to marry me. Please. To hell with you and your marriage. To hell with you and your problems. Vera. Yes. I don't ever want to be part of it. Leave me alone. Shh, shh. What are you saying? What are you saying? What are you trying to say? Everything we have is... You, you can't do that. Now. This is not my fault. This is an accident. It will pass. Please. Yeah, right? Now listen to me. Leave me alone. You see? Whatever we shared, whatever we had, it's over! Over! Vera! Vera! Vera, st My friend, can you get up? Get on my side. Get out of my bed! Get out! Get out! Get out! Go and stand over there. I don't even know why I allowed you to stay on this bed. Talk more of sleeping on this bed. Do you know what you have cost me? Do you know what you have cost me? I don't want to ever see you on this bed again. From now on, this is your spot. I don't want to ever see you on this bed. Take. Take all your things. If I ever see you on this bed again, I'm going to deal with you. You have no place in this house. Do you understand me? Do you know what you have cost me? What was your hand doing on your face? What was your hand doing on your face? What was your hand doing on your face? Were you sent from the pit of hell? From the pit of hell? To ruin me? What were you doing? Why do you have to do this to me? Is it wrong to help you? What do you think you're doing? You think food is going to solve this problem? You think you're, you're going to deceive me with this nonsense? With this cheap nonsense? I don't want you to starve. Eat your breakfast. 
Even anger requires energy. Eat so you won't be late for work. Eat your food. And I'm talking to you next time. You listen to me. You listen to me. Stupid girl. Let's talk about your imaginary world. Come. Don't worry, we'll talk about it. Hmm? <laughs> yes, we'll talk about your wife. <laughs> I'm sorry, Iwe. I am not for sale. Moreover, your son is just a child. He is a man. You made him such. How can you call him a child? His mind is the mind of a child. I can see myself taking advantage of him. His innocence. No. He desires it so. He's of age. Fine. Get him another woman. Vera. Vera. Vera, please, can we talk? Please. I can't sleep. I need to talk to you. What do you want? Just go. Leave me alone. You, you're tormenting me. Vera, I am more tormented. I am more tormented than you. I can't sleep. I can't do anything. I'm restless. Please, just open the door and let us talk. Please. Vera. Vera, please. Vera, let's just sleep together. Let's spend the night together like old time's sake. Please. We, 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 can, we, can, we can talk about everything. We can come up with a winning plan. We can still win this. Win what? Everything that's happening to us. We've already lost it. So there is nothing. Just go, leave me alone. Leave me alone. Vera, why are you talking like this? Vera, please, just give me a chance to talk to you, please. See, Ozum, if you don't leave my house this minute, I will stab myself and then I will scream for everybody to come. I will tell them, you tried to kill me. Just go, leave me alone. Stay away from me, just stay away from me. Shina, you be this. Why are you talking like this? Just go. Just leave me. Leave me alone. My wish.
Uh -huh, my dear, thank you very much. Yeah. Come on, sit down. Please sit. Yes, mama. Hmm. I hope he's taking care of you very well. I mean, treating you very, very well. Mama, everything is fine. Are you sure? Oh, go, Adam Kibu. Are you very sure he's treating you well? Yes. Hmm. But he still doesn't talk to me. With time. Remember all your words to him that day. I'm sure he's still hurting. Don't worry. He's going to come around. I don't even care. I don't care at all. The only thing that I want to know and be sure is that he's taking care of you. Oh, but the name is here or piano case and one. Oh, one look at that game. So, you need to get Oh, waka. Oh, only the guy has in take care of you very well. He should know that I don't joke with my only daughter. Oh, from Uranya. Oh, from Uranya. My only child. I don't joke with her. Mama, everything is fine. You are sure? He is. He's actually a nice man. Nice man. Onyenka, nice man. And he did this to you. Hmm? Mama, he is. If you get close to him. Hmm? Oh. Okay. Oh. <laughs> get close to him. Do you know he's a nice man? Mm -hmm. That is not my problem. My problem is for him to get ready to come and pay your bride and marry you the way a princess should be married. I don't have any problem with him. Who gave you the permission to give my food and my juice to your mother? I didn't think I needed any permission. You didn't think you needed permission. You didn't think you needed permission. Nene, do you own anything in this house? I'm asking you a question. I'm asking you! Do you work? Do you have a salary? You didn't think you needed permission to give my food to someone else. Everything here is mine, Ozoe Mena's house. Stop shouting. Why would I shout? No, why won't I shout? You, you think you are comfortable to do whatever because I left you in this house? All I ever did was love you. Did I ask for your love? Did I force you to love me? Did I ask for it? Am I? You cannot force me to love you. Do you understand that? I didn't say that. Don't try this nonsense again, Nene. Do not try this nonsense again. If you try this nonsense, I'm going to flog you. In fact, why are you doing this to yourself? What are you doing here? Huh? I can't even chase you out of my life. You have no place in my life. Because if I move you out of this house, they're going to pluck one of my eyes out. So I have to deal with your presence. Don't try this nonsense again. <laughs> Why are you so mean to me? I know you do not love me. I don't know why this is happening. Or how long it will last. But all I'm asking is for you to be kind to me. Be gentle with your words. Be careful what you say to me. They say tomorrow is pregnant. And no one knows the child it will bear. Go to 
sleep. If you can't go to sleep, be quiet. What are you mean to me? You're very mean. I lied to my mother that you're kind. But you're very mean to me. Nana, will you just shut up? You don't know what I am going through. You have no clue what I am going through, Nene. If you don't want to sleep, just get... You know what? Get out. Get out. Get out. Will you get out of my house? You want to... Nonsense. Oh, what is this, a gango? Why would you throw her out in the middle of the night? Do you want white animals to get her? How inhuman can you be? Oh yes, I'm very worried for her. Especially now that she's in the midst of you animals. Hmm? Teacher Ozo, with all due respect, you are worse than an animal. Hmm? You're very wicked. Me? Yes, you. What are you going to do? Will you beat and blind my eyes? You cannot do anything. I'm not scared of you. What is it? Wicked teacher. This young lady here married you just to save you. This is how you repay her. What kind of what kind of nonsense is this? Is this how you want to repay her? And who brought me into the mess that she's trying to save me from in the first place? Did I ask for any of this nonsense? Huh? Did I? She's the reason why I lost my, my love, Vera. Your love, Vera. <laughs> <laughs> They did not. They did not tell him. No, he wasn't informed. He did not hear. I'm okay, because he's deaf and foolish and even blind. Okay, please don't insult him. What are you rambling about here? Is he asking us? Go and ask your Lord Vera. Wicked teacher. Don't meet our friend again. Or don't try it, sir. With all due respect. Don't, don't try this thing next time, oh. If not, <laughs> if you touch my friend again, you see this thing in her eye, I'll put it on your eye. I'm telling you. We won't break your legs. Don't try it, though. We are very, very strong. It's okay, okay. It's not okay. See your eye, eh? Are you even talking? <laughs> Iweka, I am warning you. Stay away from me. Stop calling me your wife. Did you hear me? <laughs> If I slap you, eh? You won't know your stuff. 
マジケタと。<笑>ちょっと待って、ちょっと待って、ちょっと待って、ちょっと待って、ちょっと待って、ちょっと待って、ちょっと What is he saying, Vera? Go on, tell him. Please, I just want to be left alone. All of you should just leave. Leave me alone. Leave me. Listen, she owes you a lot of explanations. Go on, ask her. Demand it, request it. If she lies to you, come and ask me. I know everything.、Eh? The boy told me everything. You wait, I come and sit down. Come and sit down. If he lies against you, you will counter it. Sit down here. Sit down. We're not living here today. Vera, is this true? Is it, is it true what that man said about you and Iweka? Vera, tell me the truth, please. You, you want to hear the truth, right? Fine. I will tell you the truth. Yes. You, you, you know what happened? I was so scared. I didn't want you to lose your eyes. So I, I, I went to the e w e s t Palace. I went to plead with him to please spare your eyes. I couldn't see myself getting married to a one eyed man. No. So I pleaded with the, the Igwe that I was ready to do anything, anything to, to make you, to be safe. And the Igwe asked me if I was ready to do anything, and I said yes. That was when I told the Igwe I'm ready to offer myself to him. What are you saying? What do you mean by what you're saying? Are you trying to tell me that? You, you. Stop it, a l s o You put us in this mess. Yes, your love for Kate put us in this mess, and you're here to tell me what? Don't even say a word. I am ready to talk, so allow me to speak. Let me speak. So, so, so the e g l e asked me. If I was sure about what I told him, and I said yes, and I was ready to do anything, and he said okay, so that, so that, if, I, so that if, if I do it, everything will be fine. And that, that fateful night, that, that fateful night. He, he, he came to the house. I thought he was ready to do it, but he came with his son. He said、ah. his son mental challenge has made it impossible for, for any maiden you know, to, to allow his, you know, to get married to his son.、Ah. So, so the Iwe the Iwe asked me to make his son feel like, feel like a man, that if I do it, he's going to force Nene to, to agree to marry you. <laughs> and, then I, and then I allowed, I allowed the e g u e s o n to have his way. The e g u e s o n had his way. And, 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 and since then, that boy doesn't want to let me be. He has been on my neck for me to wake up the next morning to see you and Nene in my house saying that. Nene has consented to marry you. I, I knew I knew that was not the e g u e s m a k i n g I knew that was God at work. That was when I felt so bad. 
because I knew my sacrifice was a foolish one. I felt so bad. I couldn't even apologize to you because I know what I've done is beyond pardon. <laughs> that was why I asked you to stay away from me. And I had told me to relationship because I couldn't see myself. <laughs> Looking at your eyes. <laughs> This is a subconscious dream. I'm going to wake up from this. I'm going to wake up from this. Ah! Very much! Ah! Ah! Oh, ah, you sold me out. No. Vera, you sold me out. No. Sarah, you did this to me. No. Sarah, you did this to me. You said this, that you, you're doing this for your own selfish interest. No, no, because no. you don't want to get married to a man with one eye. It's not true. Sarah, you did this to me. I did it for us. Shut up! I did it for Stop us. Stop lying and get out from my front. I, I did it you, for us. You did this for yourself. Stop lying. No. Stop lying. Vera. I did it this for us. This is all us. your fault. <laughs> I did him up. Just get out from my front. You get out from my front. No, don't leave me alone. Leave me alone. Stay away from me. Stay away from me. Stay away from me. Stay away from me. Take it. Just end it. I'm tired of running away from you. I'm tired of living this life. Just kill me. Just end it. Bring everything, bring like 10 or 12. Just bring everything you have. Bring everything, please. Just bring everything. Help yourself with this while I get the rest. Bring the beer. I want to drink and forget my sorrows. I want to leave this place and go home and sleep till tomorrow. Just give me beer. Okay. Give Take me alcohol. While I get the rest. If you have spirits, give me spirits. Everything, please. Oh, yeah. Oh, Madam Joy, give me beer now. Give me beer. My my table is. Help yourself. Uh -huh. Thanks.
Wait two. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's not on my own again. Just one more step. <laughs> Why are you happy? Why are you happy? Why? Why are you? Ozo. Where are Mary you at? Where are Mary? I marry the I marry Nene. You're drunk. Nene, are you the one helping me? Yes, I am. Who gave you alcohol? <laughs> Joy. Madam Joy? Joy. Joy, Joy. I drink beer with palm wine. With more beer, with more palm wine. <laughs> I, want to, I want to go to my um, Please, guys, please come on, just let's take wait, me. Wait, no, wait, Alice wait, wait, good. wait, just wait. I'm okay. I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm okay. I'm not drunk. Uh -huh. Alice is good. He I now knows what go. every other person will do. I know. I know. I know. Vera, marry you, Eka. Ah. Ah. Can't you see he's not ah. himself? Eh? Ah, I flog Nene. Igwe. Igwe. I flog Nene. Eh? Vera flog me. Igwe flog Vera. Eh? Igweka. Vera Mary. <laughs> he's not himself. Let's take him in. He needs fresh. I don't have strength. Why are you ah. taking him inside? He needs fresh. Nene, I'll let him sit here so you get the fresh. I'm sorry. I know you are sorry. I'm sorry. I know I'm forgiving you. Uh, I'm sorry. Um, Jimo, let's. I'm sorry, please forgive me. Forgive me now. I'm forgiving you. Allow him to pull off there, you'll be fine. Let the air. Let the air come out. Let the air come out. Vera! 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 Stop screaming. Nene! 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 <laughs> Enjoy that game. Mm. Because you were cheating. I Don't did mind cheat. her. Uh -uh. You did. <laughs> I did not. <laughs> See, I think I have to go back. I have to go back. Yes. Uh, See us up more now. He, he's sleeping and you don't even know when he'll wake up. No one knows when he'll wake up. And I don't want him to wake and he starts looking for me. You know, he's been through a lot this past few days. <laughs> Nene? You love this guy a lot. I mean, look at you. You have also been through a lot. But you're placing him above yourself. Is that nice? Love is that feeling that you cannot help. Even when the person you're loving does not deserve it. But I'm happy. I'm happy to love him. That is not healthy. Sometimes the one you love needs to see enough love from you before they can love you back. Nene, sometimes it works that way. Sometimes it doesn't. Eh? That's a risk I'm willing to take. Look, what if this man doesn't see the angel that you are? What if he doesn't get to love you? Then I'll leave him. I'll say that I divorced him so that they don't pluck out his eyes. They will know he married me according to the tradition, but I decided to leave. Okay, that's cool. As long as you know when to, to, to move out of this whole thing. Eh? You seem happier. That's what matters to us as your friend, that you're happy. It's fine. Let me start going, okay? Hog. <laughs> <laughs> Take care of you. Come. <laughs> Take care of yourself. Oh, bye. See you, guys. Bye. I love you. I always
Three hearts, three people, each one got hurt. But one decided to leave. What should the other two do next? Maybe the other two can open up their heart to see if there is love between them. Yes, um, I invited you to give you a standing order to leave this village with immediate effect. My son cannot continue to see you. You're making him mad and mad. You cannot stay anymore except you're ready to get married to him. Ancestors forbid that. I will never. Did you hear me? I will never do that. And for your information, I am not done with my NYSC. I still have two months more left. Well, um, I will instruct the community health workers to write you a letter releasing you. Sometimes the wrong things will make in life in an attempt to hurry it or push it. You cannot hurry it. And that is exactly what you have done. Well, to my son's advantage anyway. You're a very mean person. I should have known I was dealing with a mean man, a man without a conscience. How could you say all those things to me? Why? 
I did what I did because I was protecting my man and my emotions. Can a wrong right a wrong? Selling yourself to save him, was that right? Sir, that is debatable. You sold yourself to satisfy your ego. You said it yourself. You said you could not bear the idea of marrying one-eyed man. So, you did not do it for him. You did it for Vera, not also. No. What I did was a combination of two. I did what I did for my man, the love of my life. I did what I did for my emotions, my feelings. Yeah, you will need money. Take it. Thank you. I am paying you as one. Paying a person who has worked. You worked for my son. So I'm paying you for it. Mm. Since I was not the one who convinced Nene to marry Ozo, which is right that I pay you for it. I would have returned this morning because of what you just said. But what is it going to change? Nothing. Will it change people's perception about me? No. Or will it change the way they look at me or see me? Mm -hmm. So I will keep the money. If there's one thing I can never take away from you, is that you are a brave woman. And I will advise that in future, act with more discernment and wisdom. You can go. You know, there is nothing that happened in this village. I do not know. Where are they living? I got the information that you are living today. But mind you, nobody will marry you. But I can still manage you. So that we have kids. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Me, Abraham, father of all nations, can still marry a spoiled product like you. If only you accept to marry me. Ew. Hold on, wait. By the way, where is Ozo? Right here. You get out of here now. Get out. You want me to stop you again? Get out. So it is true. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Just know that I will always love you. You don't know what love is. You don't. Yeah. You're right. Uh, I, I wish you all the best. The very best.
I always loved you Fantasized and idolized you Tell me what to do To get you to look at me Love, oh love, eh, Do anything for love, oh, yeah. Oh, everything, everything, what you want, what you want. Take my arm, it's over. It's over. I do anything for love, oh, yeah. Oh, me more. Nene, my darling, how are you? Did you go to the to the doctor? Yes, I did. What did they say? What is it? Tell me. He said that I'm pregnant. Hey! You're what? You're pregnant, Nene. Yeah. I knew it. I knew it. But I said, let me hold myself. Oh, Nene. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. I will love this child. I will love this child of mine. And I will love you too. I've always wanted a child. Oh, my God. Oh, no, no. Oh, thank God, thank God, thank God, thank God. <laughs> 